<clears throat> a sister says, I cry every day. Seeing myself in the mirror, I'm not fair. Also, I have some or so many acne on my face. I'm in depression. It makes me feel worthless. In Jannah, will I be having acne? Can I look good? <clears throat> First of all, those who are admitted to Jannah, they are all perfect in every sense. So they are all of the age of 33 years, not older, not younger. And they are perfect in their physical form. They are the most beautiful anyone could have set eyes on. <clears throat> and they would have no defects, none whatsoever. So this is something you have to rest assured and know about. Secondly, why be depressed? The most common reason is that people who do not have strong belief <clears throat> in the divine decree, which is the sixth pillar of Iman, which 99% of the Muslims don't know of. They know the five pillars of Islam. But when you ask him about the six pillars of Iman, they said, huh, we don't know. Though it's an essential part of their Islam. Without it, they can't be Muslims. Let me reiterate, they can't be Muslims if they don't fulfill these six pillars of Imam. To believe in Allah, to believe in the day of judgment, to believe in the angels, to believe in the messengers, to believe in the scriptures, and to believe in the divine decree, whether good or evil, whether good or bad. <clears throat> so to believe that Allah has predestined everything and wrote it down 50,000 years before Allah created the universe, this belief makes you content. So if I fall sick and I'm tired, if I have a very bad sore throat and I cannot speak and I cough and I have bad chest pain, <clears throat> how would I feel? I feel bad, I can't speak, I can't do things, I can't behave normally, I'm sick. But if I believe that this is something that Allah the Almighty preordained upon me, <clears throat> I feel content. This is what Allah chose for me. So who am I to know better? This is the best. Allah chose that for me for a reason, for a wisdom, that he only knows about, I'm content with that. Now, to have low self-esteem, to look down upon yourself, you are the most miserable person on earth and you need to be depressed. <clears throat> and this might be a punishment for not looking at the many favors and blessings of Allah upon you. So I have acne on my skin. I'm not fair. I'm dark, I'm this, I'm that. <clears throat> Is it the end of the, the world? Definitely not. Can you see? Yes, Sheikh, I have two eyes. How do you feel if we will, were to take your sight away? Oh, I'd be blind. I, I can't live. Can you hear? Yes, I have two ears. Can you walk? Yes, alhamdulillah, I'm not paralyzed. Can you use both hands? Oh, with the grace of Allah, they're all functional. So, can you understand people when they talk to you? Can you read? Can you do things? You're a normal human being. All these blessings and so many, many more. You've neglected, ignored. You've shown your ingratitude to Allah simply because you're not fair in color, simply because you have a skin disease that many people have even worse. But you fail to express your gratitude and gratefulness to Allah Azza wa Jal. You have a problem. So you need to fix this problem. How? 
I feel depressed, I feel sad. I look at myself in the mirror, look beyond how you look. Look at your heart. Look at the greatest favor of all upon you that Allah has bestowed upon you. What is the greatest favor that you are a Muslim? Look around you. How many non-Muslims are there? Would you like to be like them? Would you like to be Miss Universe? <clears throat> but a non-Muslim, the most beautiful and gorgeous woman on earth, but you're a kafir. You have no boundaries. You don't know the Quran. You don't know Allah. Would you like to be like that? Of course not. Even if they gave me the whole world, wealth of the, the world, I wouldn't buy this. So be grateful. Look in the mirror and look at the favors and blessings that Allah have bestowed upon you. Show your gratitude to Allah. Don't care about what people say or think. It counts what you think of yourself.